This is a view of the outside of the tiny house. Some of the features are there is a motion sensor light outside and there are outlets so you can plug in some lights or maybe even an electric grill. Um, the tires are in very good condition. It's barely been moved. Um, and then this is where you'll find the, where the gray water comes out and where the uh, fresh water connection is. This is where the outdoor unit for the mini split is located and that is the bathroom window. And this is the other side of the tiny house where you'll find the electrical plug. Now we'll go inside of the tiny house. This is the living area and the couch is included if you would like. Uh, we have the mini split here, two big windows. You can see the ceilings are high so it makes it feel pretty spacious. We have a ceiling fan uh, with the LED light. There's room for to set up like a small dining table or maybe a little work desk. And this is the kitchen area. The TV, there, it's mounted on a bracket that can swing out so it can be facing the living room. There is a electrical range that does vent to the outside. And there's three different speeds as well as a light. So great for cooking and will prevent your the tiny house from smelling. Uh, as you can see, there's plenty of counter space and a nice big farmhouse sink with gold uh, faucet, window outside, and cabinets with plenty of space. And we have the sliding uh, door, barn door for to the bathroom. And there is a, included is a microwave air fryer oven combo. and an apartment size refrigerator. Now we'll go up to the loft area, which um, you'll go up the storage stairs and the loft area can fit a queen size bed comfortably um, and you could probably put nightstands on either side or you could also even fit a king size bed um, but that's probably the only thing you would be able to fit up here. There are windows on each side as well as two electrical outlets and the light switch is over on this side. It was really important for me to have plenty of storage in the tiny house. So these are custom built storage stairs. And you can see that there is plenty of space in each. So this first one has the electric water heater as well as, as, well as the electrical panel and some hooks to uh, where you can hang things. Second one, there is a 
uh, clothing rods. You can hang jackets and other items, clothes. This one. And then also you can store things in here. And there is also this cabinet where plenty of items can also be stored. Now we'll go check out the bathroom through the sliding door. And you'll see here the sink with storage underneath. A brass faucet. There's storage underneath. There is the traditional flushing toilet. And there is a auto moisture sensor bathroom vent. The window uh, with the shade some hooks, um, also storage for like, you know, items like your broom or mop, and then these storage that go in pretty deep. And here is the stand-up shower. Let me take a look at that. There's like built-in shelves. I wanted to show one of my favorite features of the tiny house. So wanting to utilize the space to the best of the ability, I had a hidden storage compartment built in the bathroom. So you can lift up this board and put in items such as clothes or other miscellaneous things that you want to store and have be out of sight.